What you're about to see here is a town hall event where a minimum wage worker named Shanika Rainier asks a very simple question of Representative Dennis Ross, a Republican of Florida, and look at his useless answer. I work at RV's on uh, Fletcher Avenue, and I live on Bruce B. Downs, and that's in your district, uh, I yes, sir. Okay, and um, I just wanted to know, like, what would would you support the uh, Obama Act of raising uh, federal minimum wage? No. And why not? Because I think it would do more harm to our economy than, than, than anything. You, you work at Arby's, the cost of, of, of the cost of products, the cost of services are going to go up. Markets do work. And I'm not suggesting that we do away with the minimum wage. That's not it at all. But a minimum wage is not a career wage. It's a wage that's paid to make sure that workers aren't taken advantage of by business owners. But if we're going to make it a living wage, who's going to pay for it? Who's going to pay for it? I, I, I'm going to pay for it at the counters. I'll pay 20 cents extra for a hamburger. But then it's going to I think that's happening. And especially on tax day. Send in some more today. I mean, you're okay. welcome to okay. do that. With, with that being said, he said he'll pay. So if he'll pay, and I'm going to work every day, bust my butt. I, don't I, I, want, to know, I want to know, would you take a walk in my shoes? Sir, I do. Every day. Try. Every day, would you take a walk in my shoes? Knowing that I was going to lay your tie and your suit down just for a day, that's all 24 hours, and take a walk in my shoes. And the people that I work with, we're keeping the economy floating and, and, and going in the cycle. But the people that hire, you know, they're just paying money, just throw money. But I'm actually working every day. So why wouldn't you support it? Because it's not right. Economically, it's not right. It does more harm to our economy. I was a child at, at age 12 mowing lawns. I have worked my entire life. I have walked that path many times that you're walking today, and I'm glad I did because it built me an appreciation for what I know this country allows me to have, and that is the enjoyment of my fruits of my labor. And if the government's going to tell me how much I can get paid and when I can work and when I can't work, then we've got a serious problem in this country. We need to make sure that we protect our abilities and our God-given rights to excel the way we were meant to excel. And for one nation that mankind has ever known, it is this one that has allowed that opportunity. How much more government do you want in your life? What have they done so far? Right, boy, we got it. It's a minimum wage. nothing Yes, it does. It's just a minimum wage does. What a terrible bullshitter he is. I mean, he looks so uncomfortable. He's, you know what it is? He's struggling to come up with answers, but he has no good answer. So he has to revert back to these stock talking points that are in the back of his head that are just like the vague stump speech that he gave, talking about all these abstract things. But uh, his mind isn't working. He's not actually comprehending what the people are saying to him because what they're saying makes perfect sense. So he's like, I, I have to tell them I oppose it, but I have to try to be convincing. But he comes across the opposite. He's just babbling. His mouth is moving, but his brain is turned off. You know? It's like a fucking one of those string dolls. You pull the string and it's like they just say the same thing. It's like Tickle Me Elmo, except with a right-wing politician coming up with excuses why we shouldn't raise the minimum wage. And he's dead wrong on the facts. Here, let me give you the information. Uh, study. Raising the minimum wage would boost economic growth by $22 billion a year and create 85,000 new jobs. That's from the Economic Policy Institute. How about CNN Money? Quote, 75 leading economists support minimum wage increase, including seven Nobel laureates. And listen to him. It's not right, economically speaking. Really, dipshit? You know more than Nobel Prize winning economists? Oh, that's right, you don't. I forgot, you're talking out of your ass. How about a study from the Center for Economic and Policy Research? If the minimum wage paid the same today as it did in the 1960s, adjusting for inflation, it would be $10.52 an hour. If the minimum wage kept up with productivity of the worker, it would be $21.72 an hour. What happened, big guy? All the Republicans, all the conservatives, everybody who believes in capitalism always trots around saying, rising tide lifts all boats, man. You get what you're worth. That's what capitalism is. If you work hard, you're going to get paid the amount of money you're worth. Except I just told you that's not the case. The average worker, these workers are putting out $21.72 
uh, worth of production, but they're only getting seven dollars uh, and twenty-five cents as their wage. That's the minimum wage. So the wages are artificially kept low. And let's also not forget that eighty percent of the American people want a minimum wage hike, including a majority of Republicans. Like the room he's in there, that those are his constituents, and they totally unanimously disagree with him. But he's like, no, my job is not to listen to you guys, even though that's exactly what it is. My job is to listen to the business owners and the corporations that paid me who I'm selling out to. The guy's got his priorities completely out of whack. And also, keep, keep in mind, I, I lo I, first of all, I love the guy who he called out and said, look, I'd pay 20 cents extra for a burger. But the thing is, it wouldn't even necessarily cost 20 extra cents. In fact, we covered a study on the show uh, just a few weeks ago that talked about how to get all the Walmart workers off of food stamps, you'd need to raise uh, the price 1%. The price of your average good 1%. That's it. <laughs> so we're not even looking at 20 cents. I've seen studies that say as much as to pay a living wage, uh, each good in Walmart would go up like 13 cents. And I've seen studies as low as what I just said, like 1%. So either way, what we're looking at here is a very, very tiny amount of money. And they've, they've done polls where the majority of people say, yeah, I'd pay that little extra amount to give people a living wage, of course. I love how we're still debating the idea of a living wage. How ridiculous is that? Like, a tiny group of people, about 20% of the country, usually bought off establishment idiots on the right-wing side, they actually say, no, no, I think you should work a full-time job and not make enough money to survive. As if that's a defensible position. As if that's like, we should respect that intellectually. Like, oh, don't get angry at us just because we disagree with you. We're going to get angry at you because that's not an area where there's legitimate disagreement. That's outside of the realm of the spectrum of what makes sense. To say, yeah, work full-time and don't make enough money to live. There's a term for that. It's called wage slavery. These guys are in favor of wage slavery. They're a massive joke. And this guy exposes him to be a, exposes himself to be way in over his head because not only is he corrupt, but he also isn't even a good bullshitter to cover up for his nonsense.